friends, today I am packing for a quick couple days in Vancouver, Canada, and I thought I'd just show you how I pack for a quick trip um, in a backpack. So I really like this backpack, it's great, it can fit under the seats on airplanes, so I never have to worry about overhead luggage being a thing or checking a bag. It has two water bottle holders on each side, which is great. And also I really like this because I can stow an extra jacket. Um, it also has a, a pouch for a laptop if you're bringing that, which is also just great for like notebooks and things like that. Anything that you want to keep flat is great for this pouch. It's got a main compartment and then the front compartment which has a little bit of zippers and organizers. So I'm going to be packing with this today. The weather in Vancouver should be around mid 70s so I'm going to be packing for kind of summery but you know not too boiling hot weather. I'm mostly going to just be about town. I'm going to a concert and then maybe walking around in different areas. You know eating food, seeing the sights. So I need comfortable clothes but I don't need anything to like hike in or do like long distances. I will be doing almost all walking though, so that's something I need to consider. So I'm gonna try to pack about three outfits for this trip. I probably won't wear all of them, but I just like to have some kind of variety because you never know what the weather does sometimes. So I like to start with my outfits first when I pack. I think most people would do the same. So I think For my first outfit, I'm going to have some denim shorts and then have this oversized linen shirt. Um, I feel like this outfit is going to be really versatile for, you know, just walking around when it's warm. Um, I think it's also good for like if we end up going down on a beach or like by the water, that'll be really nice. And I love an oversized linen shirt because it kind of doubles as my sleep shirt in the nighttime or like kind of like a robe in the morning just like kind of like what I'm doing right now don't really like to wear real clothes <laughs> all the time at home and so that's kind of the double function of this shirt the next thing I want to pack is a dress but I want it to be fairly casual so I think I'm gonna go with this wrap dress that I recently got from the thrift store um it's just like a tencel kind of denim style wrap and you know, pretty average dress. Um, I really like wrap dresses because they're super comfortable and I'm gonna be eating some food. So um, lots of gathers here over your stomach so you don't have to worry about that. Um, but also I can kind of dress this up and down but it still looks pretty casual. I'm not gonna be going anywhere fancy. So I also like to bring dresses that I'm not gonna worry about staining or getting dirty. Um, when I'm just kind of traveling in, in the city and, you know, going to parks. Like, this is a dress that I can sit down on the grass and just relax, you know? Then I want an outfit to wear to the concert. I think I will go with this black silk button down. It's really lightweight, so I'm not going to get too hot. And it's also not going to show sweat in case it gets a little sweaty. The concert is kind of like an old person concert, so I don't really foresee there being a lot of crazy dancing there. And honestly, people might just be sitting, <laughs> but um, I like this option because it's pretty versatile. It can be dressed up or down, but I think I'm going to just wear I think I'm just going to wear these um, ripped jeans with them. Looks very casual, but kind of cool still. And because the weather's not gonna get too hot, I think I can still get away with jeans. And this will also like double as like a cold, a colder wear. <laughs> this concert outfit also kind of doubles as my cold wear. So if it is actually colder than, you know, 70, then I'll have this outfit to wear and I don't have to worry about freezing. I think I'll also bring a tank top. So, I'll just bring this white tank top just to have in case it is super hot, then I can wear this with my shorts or my jeans. Um, I just like bringing an extra tank top just in case, because I guess I'm an overpacker. I don't know. Try to pack light and 
I just don't like being hot or too cold. So um, yeah, I guess I'm high maintenance. Now, I don't think that the place we're staying has a pool or any kind of water that we can swim in. So I'm not going to bring a swimsuit. Usually I would always advocate like, just always bring a swimsuit, you never know. Actually. Okay, so I'm not gonna bring this tank top because instead I am gonna bring a swimsuit. But I like this swimsuit, it's a one piece and it goes pretty low, but I feel like it can really double as a bodysuit. So here's my option. So instead of a tank top, I'm gonna bring the swimsuit and boom, two stones, birds, and done. Okay, so underwear, socks, that kind of stuff. That depends on the shoes I'm wearing. I think I'm going to be bringing my Birkenstock sandals cause those are the most comfortable for me to walk around in. And then I think I'll also bring a pair of sneakers. So for that, I'm gonna bring two pairs of socks, underwear, everything is jeans or yeah, dresses. So I'm gonna bring three pairs because I like to be overprepared. Boom, underwear, bras. Nothing I'm bringing requires a special bra. Oh, maybe this dress does. Okay, so this dress, I might need something that goes low, so I'll get that kind of bra. Boom, bra done. And because I always like to overprepare, I will bring a puffer coat. Puffer coat. Okay, so I got my Birkenstocks and my sneakers. I'm gonna wear my sneakers and then pack these away. So next I have my bathroom stuff. So a comb, I almost always forget this, so I'm remembering now, comb. And then I have this little pouch that has like, my tools, if that makes sense. So like a little scissors, um, nail clippers, I have tweezers, and then I have like bobby pins and extra ponytails in here. And then this front bag here is like my makeup bag and then any extra like product I wanna bring. So like I have sunscreen, I have moisturizer, got my mascara you know, some red lip action if I'm feeling crazy. And yeah, that goes in this pouch. And then this big pouch is my to-go pouch that I just always have ready with my necessities. So I got contacts, I got some hair cream, I got shampoo, conditioner, you know, body soap, Freaking liquid exfoliant, thank you, Paula's Choice, you're dope. Um, Q-tips, toothbrush, extra eye solution, small deodorant, you know, just all the things that I could possibly need. Face wash. So that's always in this to-go pouch, always ready for me. That way I don't have to scramble around and look for things every single time I pack for something. Next, some other necessities, I'm bringing my laptop couple masks. This is like a travel pack for anything I need. So like mostly it's just like extra medication, allergy medicine, that kind of thing. Wallet, sunglasses, keys, headphones, phone charger. And I think that's pretty much it. Jewelry. Okay. Jewelry. I'm just bringing a couple of fun earrings and a necklace in here. And this is just a jewelry box that one of the pieces that I've been gifted came in and it's just great for travel because it's a hard case and I don't have to worry about my jewelry kind of getting damaged in any way. So jewelry. Also, obviously I'm going to be ringing a water bottle and my phone, but that's what's filming this. So, okay. So let's pack this all up into the bag.
All right, that's everything. I have to go now, so thanks for watching, and I hope you got some info out of that to help pack light for your next trip. Um, yeah, I gotta go, so I'll see you next week. Bye.